What's up guys, it's your boy Mom Miguel, back at it again with another video. Today we'll be doing Europa League round of 32 knockout stages recap, so here we go. Here we go. Europa League is back, Thursday Night Football is back baby, and Milan head to Serbia to play against Red Star. Um, Red Star and Milan have met four times, and Milan have won two times and drawn two times. Um, the last time they met was in 06 in the Champions League, where Inzaghi scored, and we won both of those games. Um, heading into this game, we're coming off the loss to Spezia. Um, a win is very much needed boost some morale, give us some confidence going into the derby, which is on Sunday, which can make or break the Scudetto race. Um, there's a lot of rotation in the squad. Donnarumma started. Kalulu gets a start with Fikayo Tamor, Romagnoli, De Hernandez. Now, Ben Acer got the start with Mete, which I don't think Mete was a bad decision, um, but Ben Acer was kind of risky, and we'll talk about that later on in the video. Then we had Rebic, Rebic Krunic in the attacking midfield role, Castillejo and Mandzukic gets his first start for Milan. I'll say Milan got off to a decent start with Ante Rebic cutting into the box and taking a nice shot, um, making the keeper make a save, which ended up in us getting a corner kick. From then on, Theo Hernandez managed to grab us a goal in the 11th minute. Um, don't really know what happened, but Theo Hernandez ended up getting the ball into the back of the net. Um, but that goal was ruled off by VAR via handball. Um, very tough call to make because, you know, what could Theo Hernandez have done with his hands? There was really nothing. Um, but that goal was disallowed for us in the 11th minute. Nevertheless, with us having that goal chopped off because of VAR, we kept pressing and Rade Krunic decided to show out today having an outrageous shot outside the 18-yard box, forcing the keeper to make a very, very much needed save in the 18th minute. Shortly after, Gianluigi Donnarumma would be called into action, making a huge save for Milan. Kronich, once again having a beautiful game, decided that he was going to try to find his teammate Ante Rebic. Plays in a beautiful ball to him first time. Ante Rebic ends up skying that shot in the 22nd minute. Donnarumma would once again pull a, an amazing save off of Niko Ivanovic. Um, in the 25th minute. Now back to the starting lineup. Benacer getting that start. Um, I'm not sure why Benacer got the start after playing 90 minutes against Spezia and he just came back from injury. Should have gave the start to Tonali in my opinion. Benacer has to come off in the 38th minute because of a hamstring injury or what looks like a hamstring injury. Um, Tonali comes off the bench to replace him. Kind of a silly thing to do for Pioli because this man, I feel like he's just been rushed um, ever since he's come back from these injuries. Um, it sucks because in the derby, the first derby that we had, uh, Benacer was quite crucial to man marking Barella and I'm not really sure how that's going to go on Sunday. So that is a huge loss for Milan, um, getting Benacer with an injury. Hopefully it's not serious, but you never know especially with the way how the season is going. Red Star would then end up scoring an own goal in the 42nd minute from Pankov. He basically just ends up rolling the ball into his net. Milan go up 1-0 away from home. Halftime 1-0, I'd say Milan played a fair game. Um, they created a lot of opportunities. Unlucky to have the goal chopped off because of the handball, but they kept pressing. They end up finding a goal. Red Star created a couple good opportunities. Donnarumma made some good saves. Um, and we move. Halftime ends and then Leal comes off the bench to replace Ante Rebic. Not sure if that was an injury or if it's just rotation for the derby on Sunday, um, but Leal was implemented into the game. Then right after that, Donnarumma was called to make a save once again, because Red Star was trying to find that equalizer. Romagnoli would then concede a penalty for Milan, which kind of changed the outcome, changed the momentum and the outcome of this game. Uh, concedes a handball, which I think was a bit harsh because I think that Romagnoli just had a natural reaction. Um, but handball is handball, yellow card was given to him, and the penalty was given. No question about that. Um, kind of tough for the captain to concede a penalty in a knockout game, but hey, it is what it is, it happens. 
Kanga steps up against Donnarumma in the 52nd minute. Donnarumma goes the right way, but Kanga with enough power and accuracy to get it past him. Red Star equalized in the 52nd minute. Red Star won, Milan won. Then there was some brilliant play between Tonali on the counter attack, evades a tackle, keeps it going, manages to get it to Thea Hernandez, the roadrunner who runs into the box, gets into the box, gets some contact on him from the defender who scored the own goal, and a uh, penalty was con seated for Red Star, penalty was given to Milan, and this is where I was kind of like, oh my goodness. Um, so the penalty was given, I thought possibly Rebic would step up to take it, but no, Theo Hernandez steps up himself, cool, calm, and collected, since the keeper the wrong way, gets the goal for Milan, and Milan are back up into the game 2-1. 60th minute, 2-1, cheeky celebration from Theo Hernandez. Um, Really good output from the game. We just need to get another goal, so it's 3-1, and then we can kill this game off. In the 76th minute, Red Star player fouls Kalulu. Stupid foul. He's already on a yellow, gets a second yellow, gets a red card. He is out of the game, misses the next fixture. Hakan Chalanoglu would come on to replace Mandzukic in the 82nd minute. Um, and as soon as Hakan comes on, he gets on the set piece, whips the ball in. Meite gets his head on it. Looks like it was going to go, but the goalkeeper makes a beautiful save. Um, lovely to see Hakan bringing in that instant impact, and I wish that uh, Meite would have scored from that, but unlucky. So we're neck and neck, 2-1. It's the last four minutes extra time that is added on. We're in about the 92nd minute. Red Star get a corner, and it's a bit controversial because you can say that the person who got them the corner was offside, and there was a foul on the play, but the corner was given. All Milan had to do was defend this corner, clear the ball out, not be lazy, and Milan would get a win, and it would put them in a good spot for the second leg. Meite and Milan decide to be lazy defenders. Red Star, who is undefeated in the league, they haven't lost at all, with 10 men, managed to pull out that fight to win mentality. They get ahead to the ball, and it ends up in the back of the net. Red Star 2, Milan 2, and the game ends in a draw. Very disappointing to not take a win from this game when we literally had it in our grasp, but we decided to be lazy and, you know, we thought that we had it in the bag when we really did. Um, it sucks. A win before the derby would have, you know, boosted team morale. Uh, we just lost Benacer because of the injury. We don't know how serious that is, so that's also not good. Um, takeaways from the game. Kalulu, Tamori, um, very solid in defense. Romagnoli, but shaky, conceded the penalty. Not a good look on him. Thier Hernandez had a brilliant game, um, scored a goal. What more can you ask from that man? Unlucky for Benacer to get out with the injury and hopefully we wish him a speedy recovery. Not sure if he'll be in the derby, um, but we already touched upon that. I think Meite did a solid, solid job today in the double pivot. The only part of his game that kind of sucked was him not marking his defender and conceding that equalizing goal. Rade Krunic showing out today. He, he really had a good game, honestly. I don't know, maybe we keep Krunic and he plays in the center attacking midfield role because it seems like Brahim Diaz won't be a permanent transfer. It seems like he's going to go back to Real Madrid. Rebic had a pretty decent game. Um, Leao came in for him. I didn't really see much from Leao. Um, so we're not going to really talk about that. Castillo, I think he had a decent game. He was definitely in the attacks. He created opportunities. Unlucky not to score a goal or even assist a goal. He was heavily influential in the attack. And then Mario Mandzukic. Um, I think Mandzukic didn't really showcase that much in this game. I think he just needs to get more used to playing playing time and then, you know, he will surface and we've seen glimpses of what he can do and Hakan Chalanoglu coming off the bench pretty decent um, instant impact once again almost getting an assist and Gianluigi Donnarumma arguably made some huge saves for Milan to keep them into this game um, unlucky not to get a clean sheet or also unlucky to you know not have any type of way to save the equalizing goal but yeah, those were my takeaways on the game. It just sucks to not have that advantage over Red Star, but we come back to the San Siro for the second leg, and then we have uh, Inter, the Derby, a huge Derby um, on Sunday, and hopefully we can get a win and
pull up an upset and we can put all these, you know, subpar performances behind us. That's really all I have for you guys. Forza Milan and peace.